Hi everyone, today we're going to look at the Datacolor Spider-X Elite Monitor Calibration Hardware and Software. Now this is a device that will help you get the most accurate colors possible from your monitor or laptop so that you can create consistently accurate colors for yourself and or for your clients. Now, full disclosure, Datacolor did send this device out to me for free in exchange for a video review. And there will be links down below if you're interested in this product. And I am an Amazon affiliate, so I'll earn a small fee on any qualifying purchases. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about this device. Now, I've been color calibrating my monitors for years now using an older X-Rite device because I'm a professional real estate photographer. And it's important that I to consistently deliver color accurate images to my clients month after month and year after year. And it's been working fine now, but this device from Datacolor offers some additional features that are saving me a lot of time and will save me a lot of money in the future. So let's talk about what those are. Now, one of the best features of this device is how fast it is. I can color calibrate a monitor in under two minutes. Now with my older device, it was taking me eight to 10 minutes to color calibrate a monitor and that in of itself is not so bad when you're thinking about one monitor, but I have to calibrate four monitors at a time when I do it because I have two laptops and two external monitors and they all have to match in my workflow. So it was taking me about 40, 45 minutes to color calibrate all four monitors on my older device, assuming I didn't make any mistakes along the way. Uh, it could take up to an hour sometimes. So it's very, very time consuming. With this uh, Datacolor Spider-X Elite, I can do all four monitors in about 10 minutes. Even if I make a mistake, it only adds a couple of minutes. So um, it's a huge, huge time saver. Now, another great feature of this device is actually in the software side, because when you're done calibrating the monitor, it'll show you sort of the before and after calibration, the color differences, which will be very obvious when uh, we go through the demonstration here. But also it gives you a scale or percentage of the color gamut that your monitor was able to reproduce. So it'll say something like 99% of sRGB, 83% of Adobe RGB, and then there's a couple other cinema type things like NTSC and P3, uh, which I don't use. But if you've ever seen a review on a laptop monitor or any kind of monitor, you always see them use this device in particular to show you the color gamut that the monitor is able to reproduce. So it's almost like an industry standard. But this has really saved me a lot of money because I was thinking about replacing my old monitor here. It's about six years old. But after I ran this uh, color calibration and the software, it told me that this monitor is still reproducing 99% of the sRGB color space. And I'd have to spend a lot more money to get something that would perform better than what I already have. And that's one of the things I love about the software on this uh, device is because I can continue to test my monitors, whether it's my old ones or if I decide to buy a new one, to see how good that monitor is relative to what I already have. And that's always important is when you do comparisons of monitors, you know, I like to compare it against what I have now versus what I might have to pay for later. So it's really saved me a lot of money in the short term, and I can see it saving me money down the road as well. All right, let's look at the device itself. It comes in a very small box here, but inside the box is actually a serial number because you'll need to download the software from their website and enter the serial number to activate it. So make sure you save the box or just take a picture of it like I did so you'll always have it. And then the device itself is very small and compact and it breaks apart here into two pieces. And what you do is you hang this side off the back of your monitor to kind of counterweight the device itself to the front of the monitor where this optical sensor sort of picks up the colors and light from your monitor. And then on the back is actually an ambient light sensor to measure the light in the room. That'll help you adjust the brightness of your monitor that's appropriate and Finally, there is a just a little quarter 20 uh, screw here so you can mount it, say, onto a small tripod to set it on your desk uh, because ideally you want to leave this on all the time to constantly measure the ambient light in the room and then you can adjust your monitor accordingly. Uh, but me, I just lay it flat on my desk most of the time. 
uh, when I leave it plugged in. All right, now I'm just going to do a quick real-time demonstration of using the software so you can see how quickly it actually calibrates a monitor. All right, let's start the timer. Start the uh, software. Click OK. And then calibrate my displays. Read the instructions. Standard LED. Step-by-step -step assistant. And full calibration. Next. Uh, next. Accept the recommended settings. Click OK. Let's move the uh, spider over. And make sure it's flat on the monitor. Click Next. Now it's going to measure the brightness. And we're pretty close, so we'll click Update and continue. You just have to be within 4% of the recommended brightness, which I was at. I should have fixed the autofocus on this while it was running. <laughs> Sorry for if it's distracting. But we'll get there. Okay, finish. And stop the timer. So I can save this profile, click Next, and here um, you can switch between before and after. So this is the calibrated display, this is before calibration, and it may be hard to tell, but let me, um, let me zoom in on, say, this picture here, and we'll switch. This is calibrated. That's uncalibrated. Calibrated. Uncalibrated. Click Next. And this is the part I like the best. Today, actually, my monitor is showing only 97% of sRGB. Uh, but, like I said, I have different monitors. So if I look at my Huion, uh, drawing tablet, you can see it's hitting 100% of sRGB, and the laptop itself is hitting 94% of sRGB, because I, I calibrated these other two monitors before. Uh, but the current monitor right here, we're at 97% of RGB, and I can check the Adobe RGB. I can see I'm getting 75% of Adobe RGB on this monitor. Let me see on my Huion display, I'm getting 83%. And on my Asus laptop, I'm getting 73%. And then back to the monitor I just calibrated, I'm getting 75% of Adobe RGB. And then uh, NTSC and P3, I believe, are for like more cinema type colors if you're doing video and stuff. Uh, and you can do some other things like click View Info. And it'll tell you the calibrated, uncalibrated things. Here, this I'm not familiar with any of these things, but uh, you can click a help button here and get more information. So as you can see, I went through that very quickly, and if I didn't talk while I was clicking the buttons, I probably would have got that under two minutes. Uh, but to be honest, your first time you calibrate your monitor using this device, it'll probably take you closer to ten minutes because they actually they ask you to warm up your monitor for 30 minutes before you actually start calibrating, which is no big deal. Most of us have our computers on all the time. But then 
Uh, you'll be fiddling like with the monitor buttons, like resetting it first back to factory default, and then when you get to the adjust brightness section, you'll have to adjust the brightness, so it's fiddling with buttons again. Uh, but you only have to do that the first time, really. And subsequent full recalibrations usually go just as quick as I just showed you. Uh, it certainly does for me. And that's really the a huge time saver versus what I was doing before taking seven to ten minutes to calibrate a monitor. Now there are several other features that I didn't really talk about that this device is capable of, like being able to calibrate multiple monitors across multiple devices, which is really handy in a studio situation where you have multiple editors working on a project and you want everybody to be seeing the same thing and be on the same page literally. Uh, also, um, soft proofing so that what you see on your screen matches what you see on your printouts. Because how many times have you printed something on your printer and it's way darker than what you see on your screen? Well, with the soft proofing feature, you'll be able to calibrate your monitor in a way that matches what you see on your prints so it doesn't get too dark. Because a lot of times monitors come out of the box just way too bright. And this device will help you adjust the brightness so that things line up a little better between prints and what you see on your screen. So here are my final thoughts. If you're a professional photographer, this is a must have item in your toolkit because you need to be able to consistently deliver accurate colors in your images and prints to your clients. And if you're an enthusiast photographer, I think you'll get a lot more enjoyment out of your photography because now you'll be able to truly see the color sciences from the individual camera manufacturers for example, you know, the Fujifilm simulations or your Canon colors or your Olympus colors. Now you'll be able to see them in all their true glory, right, in your monitor. And then it'll also be able to help you edit your images even better by really tweaking the white balances, your shadows, your highlights, etc. Because your monitor has been calibrated to the correct brightness and the correct colors. So I hope you found this video helpful, and if so, consider subscribing to the channel, hitting the like button, maybe buy me a coffee. But either way, I appreciate you watching, and hopefully we'll see you again soon.